Hi everybody. I'll tell you it's it's the end of January and it's in the 50s at the blueberry farm in northern New Jersey. So I decided to take out this uh, cart. It's a four-wheel small hay wagon and I'm going to convert it into my new blueberry stand. So I'm just going to show step by step how I'm doing it here and if you want to to uh, make one like this, it, it's up to you, but I thought it would be interesting. Well, so first off, I cut four pieces, four, uh, four, four foot two by fours here. This is the outer frame there. <clears throat> and then I want it to be able to lift up the uh, cap off this blueberry for, uh, for, uh, car. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna make temporary stands like this so uh <clears throat> i'm gonna drill a hole and bolt it in with the, my bolts here and that will be the outer frame so okay i'll show you the next step now okay next thing i do is i'm drilling holes so uh it's not easy to do it one hand but i will try so i got the bracket here and then the drill hole And I drill a hole in all four of the two by fours. Okay, so the next step is I <clears throat> bolted these brackets on like this, and I used a washer on the, the, the uh, two by four wooden side like this. So I got four lined up like that, and I'm gonna bolt them down now. So that's what they look like. And to keep them straight, I placed the 2x4 like this on a flat surface. Simple idea. And uh, make sure the 2x4 is straight. Oh, sorry about that. I gotta hold this with two hands. And uh, come on. I'll tighten it down. With the 2x4 in the flat surface. That way it keeps it level. Like this. Not easy to do it one hand, everybody. I'm sorry for that, but I just want to show everybody how I'm doing. Okay. And it, you got, like then I have four done here now. And I'll show the next step. Okay, so next step I want to do is I'm going to take these now. These two by fours. I'm gonna lay them out. I just want to show everybody how I'm gonna do this. See if it stands. Like so. No, that's probably not gonna stand. But what I want to do to make it temporary, no permanent structure, is they're gonna go like this. See how it stands. <clears throat> and I'm gonna drill holes. In, in the bracket like that so that I can unbolt it when I'm done using this the top and I'll still have a trailer that I can use around the farm because the four wood trailer old hay wagon small hay wagon is really handy to have around okay so I'm going to drill a hole make sure it's lined up and I'm just going to do this again it's not easy to do it one hand that hole there and I'll drill right through and I'll go around all four sides like that okay so the outer four two by fours are now snug but I did not bolt tight these down I want these just snug hand tight and I did that with all four here. So I have an outer section ready to go here, as you can see now. <clears throat> so I'm getting there. It's uh, a start. Believe it or not, there it is. Okay, now I'm gonna get some framing boards and then I'm gonna 
make this more sturdy. Okay, so now I put the uh, brace, middle center brace on here. Notice I have a tilt on the roof part here. So uh, they're centered and that sturdy up the, the roof part. It don't look like much now, but it will be. It's a simple, simple design. <clears throat> okay, so next I put on the side braces like this here. Nothing fancy, but they're on. We have the brace set up so it's sturdies up the the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, and that's that was the next step. And notice I'm keeping a, f a opening on the, it's going to be the front here. So uh, uh, there you are so far. All right. All right. And next I frame up the the rooftop like this with braces because it's it, even though it's not going to be used in the winter, uh, it still had to have a sturdy roof to hold the plywood because the snow is going to be laying on it when it's in storage so the, this is the reason why I did that <clears throat> the next time I'm going to make shelving in here and uh, I'll put the plywood roof on okay so here it is so far it's looking like something now it's nothing fancy but it will do nice and uh, this is a 4x8 uh, small hay wagon I'm turning into a blueberry. Alright, the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to put the roof on. And I wasn't going to use plywood, but rather use the plywood. I, I just remembered I have some leftover uh, <coughs> sheet metal on our tin roof sections. And I only need two of them, so I'm just going to use this. This would be perfect for the roof. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> use these leftover roof screws that I got right here. And I'm just gonna screw it down. And that should take care of the roof for me. And that should be nice. All right. All right. So first thing I do when I'm using the tin roof is I want to line it up. Make sure that these are properly lined and I'm center and I want to make sure that's properly centered so I can hold it in so you got to check both sides and we'll just check that in a minute and we look good here you want to at least overlap one it's not if you're doing a house, you've got to overlap, overlap more than that, but that's all I need to do here. This is not a house. It's just a blueberry stand. All right, so, oh, and I want to get the, the center of this first. <clears throat> so I get the proper overlap. Line it up. And I'm using the, my uh, air tool again. The socket wrench. one on
And that's two on. That should line it up. And keep this in line. I get a lot of wind around here, so I just want to make sure that these are secured down. But right now, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> go over this area like this. Make sure I'm in the wood. that one <clears throat> I'm going around a round frame right now I see self-tapping screws. Makes it so easy. Notice these screws have a little rubber washer. That's to keep them water tight. Again, this is all leftover stuff I had from building my shed. You know, I gotta get in their socket. Alright, let's try this. Well, that's better. That's better. Okay. Alright, go the other side. What's nice is, this is all leftovers that I had from another project. So I'm really getting done cheaply. That's what I like. I like to get done cheaply. So the security's down a little better.
and you see how it goes. Just gotta do the middle and the roof is on. And this is what it looks like. Alright, so the roof is on. I had some leftover tin from another project a few years back. So this is the nice roof. It should be nice and water tight for the roof. Good enough. It's all I need. It's not going to be something that's going to be sealed up really tight that you got to live in. It's just going to be a stand for the blueberries. So there it is so far. Here we are. There's the top. Okay, let's go to the next step. Alright, so next thing I do, I'm going to put the back sheet, metal, uh, sheet plywood on the cart. I'm just going to Here's my staple gun. Come on, let's go. Huh. Well, it's working. And the staples. Let's see. What did I do wrong here? Alright, here we go. I'll make it more secure once I get these on. I will be nailing this on. Just gotta kind of get it up. Okay, and there we are. You have to be in there. Oh, you get the hint. So not the plywood. That's the back panel. That's what it looks like. And I'll be doing sides the same way. Okay, so this is the sides that are on now. And I, I'm going to paint them. And this is what it looks like. All the sides on, the plywood sides. The thin plywood, it's all I need. Take a look inside. <clears throat> That's what it looks like inside. Now I'm going to make shelves in here. And it's looking good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to seal up the tops there. And uh, this is how it's looking so far, everybody. Again, this is made out of a small hay wagon. <sighs> I got the hay wagon really cheap. It's four wheels. And uh, the roof is made out of leftover uh, a roofing that I had from another project. And uh, it's coming on pretty good. Looks like that tire is soft. But, uh, I'll see what I can do about that later. Alright everybody, this is how it's coming along with the blueberry stand. The next step is coming up. Okay, so now I want to get a protective paint coat on this wood before it rains. 
and uh, <clears throat> I'm using uh, the typical red barn paint I thought that would look nice on the uh, farm stand cart here and uh, it says got to be 50 or above it's 45 but I'm taking a chance that it's gonna uh, dry properly but I really got to get this on because I want to get this plywood protected so uh, this may be the best opportunity right now in January to do this so here it is I'll get busy here okay so here it is all painted up it's uh, painted red barn red it's non-toxic to food and industry and animals it's a real uh, typical red barn paint I think it looks pretty nice and that's the start so the container is all painted up and uh, the roof is on and the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, paint I mean uh, put the shelf shelving in so pretty much it's done but I got some more touch-up things to do on it so uh, here it is everybody so far this is the farm stand and again it's made out of an old hay wagon a small hay wagon that I, I purchased really really great price and very nice fellow and uh, you didn't need it anymore so I I took it here and uh, I put I'm gonna make a stand so just to fill in uh, everybody if they're just looking at this now <clears throat> this is an old small hay wagon and uh, this whole top section will come off and I could still use it as a wagon if I don't need the top on it it's only bolted down and here's the bolts right here and it's this is this is crazy <clears throat> I uh, bought one of those dollar store paintbrushes and look at it exploded and all the bristles came off yeah so uh, what do you expect <coughs> some things are really good other things aren't so I don't care anyway there it is and uh, uh, next thing I'll do is make the shelving so this the size of this trailer is an 8 by 10 and uh, uh, excuse me it's size of this trailer is a 4 by 8 and uh, uh, perfect size all right buddy stay tuned for more I'm gonna continue up and uh, shoot more video as this comes along and here's the old farm stand it served me well <clears throat> but it's rotten away and uh, that's what's left of it it was made out of um, uh, um, pallets and scrap wood and uh, it just was not big enough anymore and uh, uh, it, the big problem was it was all rotten and when I just pulled it out of out of the uh, the cart it just fell apart see the roof was caving in and uh, it just just no good no more I'll see if I can salvage some of the plywood and uh, that's it for this farm stand. Thank you, farm stand. You served me well, but I need to get a bigger one now and a better one. So this is this is it for that one. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do on the farm cart is I'm going to put a front side on. I'm just going to use a two by four here, and I'm going to nail it on. It's going to go right here and there. I'm going to use my nail gun. Okay, it's on. So that secured the front. It also helps, you know, give a, a, a brace here that nothing falls out. Yeah, it looks like that. And uh, when I when want to lift off the, the top, it will all stay in a steady spot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shelf. And it's going to go here and there and uh, hopefully I got enough wood here to do that so let's get busy all right so the next thing I'm doing is I just want to have a, a removable shelf here so I'm just placing uh, two by uh, threes are here 
I'm going to have another one in the middle for support or, or whatever, but you're just going to lay in here, see how that moves. And uh, so the, I'm going to have a plywood shelving here. And the plywood is quite heavy. I don't want to mess around with that. So I'm going to cut it in half. And the plywood is a 4 by 8 so I'm just going to cut it in a 4 foot section as you see here and I'm marking it right now. And uh, I'll slice that in half and the plywood will be easier to handle instead of trying to bug or lift it every time I put the shelf in. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> put a half of one in. So. Here we are, I'm marking it a four foot section. This will be four foot, that will be four foot. And now it'd be easier to place onto the shelf. Okay, so I'll slice that in half and I'll show you how it is when it's in. All right, so there is the second shelf. <clears throat> People can reach easily under here and up here. And if you notice, I didn't nail or screw these these boards in, they can be moved onto the up and down on this layer right here. See that? That's so these boards right here, these two can be removable and adjustable. But you know, I'm I'm gonna put another uh, two by two, whatever you want to call it, in the middle there to give more support. Okay, so this is really coming along really nice. I'll be painting that up and last but not least I'm going to make a sign that goes on to here that shows that I can put stuff on there and uh, show everybody what's for sale which I'm going to do right now I'm just going to cut that board and put it on okay let's get going so the sign I want to have it a bit large enough that it could hold uh, the billboard the names of what I'm doing so I'm gonna cut two slices of this 2x4 here and uh, this came off the old uh, uh, farm cart that I still want to use them because these, these are very useful and they're made out of vinyl no sense having to use other ones so the, uh, I'm gonna make it and then I'm gonna tack it on here and uh, <clears throat> that will get some paint also when it's on, done so I'm going to slice it and nuts so it it can hold a couple signs here alright so then I'm going to measure that out and uh, I'll cut it up put it under well originally I was going to make the sign board 20 inches big but it just it just was too big to put up that way and there's a lot of wind so I am not doing 20 inches I'm gonna do 13 inches that's sufficient enough and uh, it will go on here and that would be a nice place to put the sign so I'll just tack her up and I'll just staple it up These are three inch staples. They do a nice job. Should hold nice. That's not going anywhere. And during the season, I will be able to put signs up like this. Let's try it. Just hold it one hand. And that should be nice. Look at that. Would that look nice? So everybody, this is basically made out of mostly out of scrap, and uh, it's an old hay wagon, and uh, we'll be putting a little more paint on it. But uh, all in all, it is completed. I am very happy the way this turned out. And uh, it will be going out this season, and uh, this is it. So it's got adjustable shelf. This can be removed. 
and it's not heavy because it's two pieces of plywood uh, again this is an old hay, hay wagon a small hay wagon that they got for a really great price from a really nice gentleman and he was a farmer uh, well I wouldn't say farmer but whatever you want to call him and I had this the roofing already I had that laying around so that didn't cost anything to buy and there it is it's gonna look better when it's all painted up and the whole thing the whole top is removable so you can remove it off the uh, uh, the hay wagon so I can still use the wagon when it, uh, the, the top is not being used although I don't think I'm really gonna bother because I got a lot of their trailers around so uh, it should be okay I don't think I need to move that so this all is in place now and there it is I might I might just take some scrap wood here and put it like this but that wouldn't accomplish anything because it's it's wood here anyway so now I'm not gonna be that my life so anyway so this is gonna be painted up this is the sign here I could put signage on both sides here and uh, it's, it's not water tight of course but because it will be standing outside but it will hold a lot of nice stuff and uh, bigger than what I used to have so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out all right everybody so that is how I make a farm stand on four wheels and it can be pulled with a golf car or a tractor or anything that you can pull and uh, uh i'm excited and that's gonna be it here all right so this this will be all painted up nicely and doesn't matter if it's a little chippy because that's just a board anyway that i'm going to be using for signs so i hope you enjoyed this video it's not hard to make and you can make it very cheaply low cost and uh if you, you just look around for used trailers you'll find one out there at a really good price there's a lot of them out there that uh uh that you can find for a good price i got lucky i was going to use a two-wheel trailer which you can use and uh, uh but i i like it because this is four wheels and it doesn't tip back and forth although you could just put chocks under it that's how not a trailer it was okay so i just had to fix that tire and that's easy to do so anyway that is my farm stand and i hope this is helpful for you to make your own farm stand and uh hope you enjoyed this video and please like share and subscribe it means a lot to me it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and i'll be doing a lot more videos on the blueberry farm it's nice and sunny here today it's cold it's in the 30s but it's so sunny that i, I i'm just dressed with a, a white jacket on here right now because i'm in the sun all right buddy thanks for stopping by please stop by again and uh again hit that subscribe button like and share and it's just, and uh, if you have any comments let me know and uh that's it Bye, everybody.